Hey everybody, I'm Sam. And I'm Nico. And we're here today to show you a little bit more about flying the Inspire with two remotes. Now, when getting your second remote, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure it's set into a slave mode. In order to do that, it's very easy. First, open your DJI Pilot app, hit the RC settings, and then you'll scroll down and see a activate master slave mode switch. Turn that on. Make sure your camera's controller is set to slave mode and the pilot's controller is set to master mode. What this is going to do is link the slave controller to the master controller, then to the Inspire. Once that's set up, you can bring the Inspire into the air and we can start trying out some of the cool camera orientation features that the second controller allows. When using the DJI Pilot app as the camera operator, hit the small paper airplane icon on the left side of the screen and that will bring up your camera orientation menu. The first option in this menu is called follow mode. Basically, this allows me to move the camera left and right and up and down, but it's also accepting input from the pilot's actual orientation. That means if he's rotating the Inspire, my camera is adjusting a little bit and compensating with it. So it's not complete control. The second mode is called FPV mode. And when activating this, the camera operator has no control left and this is completely up to the pilot now. When the pilot banks left and right, you'll notice that the camera is banking with it as well. The third mode is called free mode. And in this mode, I have complete control. Check this out. Nico here is spinning the Inspire, but the camera is staying in the exact same position. I can move it in any direction I want, and it will stay locked in that position regardless of the orientation of the Inspire itself. This is really great for getting the best shots in my favorite mode. It's in this mode where you can really take advantage of the 360 degree range of the camera. You can spin it all the way around to the right and all the way around to the left. Now our fourth and final mode is really good for the camera operator when he starts getting a little disoriented. When you're looking at the monitor feed, it's very hard to get a positioning on where the uh, Inspire is actually facing. And this is why it's called realignment mode. If you press it, the camera will automatically snap back to the forward facing position of the Inspire, getting you back on track. After hitting the realignment button, it will then revert back to the previous mode you were just in. Another very useful feature that you'll want to use as a camera operator is the compass on the bottom left of the screen. What it shows you is a small red triangle and then a green cone coming from it. The green cone is the camera's orientation, while the red triangle is the Inspire's orientation. If you don't have time to hit the realignment button, it's worth checking to see what's facing where. So that about wraps it up for the two controller modes on the Inspire. It's a really, really great way to get the beautiful shots you want. That's right. Having two operators really sets the Inspire apart from a lot of the other drones that are out there. Mm -hmm. If you guys are filmmakers and want to get some awesome cinematography, you should definitely check it out. Oh yeah.